Yo guys, we're gonna check out Firefighting Simulator The Squad. Drop a like on the video, make sure you sub to the channel, guys. Guys, we'll get you familiar with using forcible entry tools on doors and walls. And Walk now we're going through training. The, door. the next door is locked. Grab the crowbar off the bench and walk towards the door. Then, break it open. Good work. Now place the crowbar on the ground in the glowing box. Ooh. Grab the halogen tool, walk towards the door, and break it open. Nicely done. Place the halogen tool on the ground in the box. Grab the demo hog off the bench, walk towards the door, and bust it open. Grab the axe and walk towards the door. Swing at it and smash it open. Create your own. You can break through some walls using any forcible entry tool. Look for the cracks in the wall and break through it with your axe. Stand on the wall for cracks and break through with your axe. Good work. Now place the axe on the ground in the glowing box. There we go, we just completed dealing with doors and walls, now we're going to check out dealing with windows. This training will familiarize you with using forcible entry tools on windows to enter and exit rooms and buildings. Now, grab either tool on the bench, walk over to the window, and smash it open. At times, the window is too high to reach. Good, we're almost done. Smash either window and climb through to the next area. There we go, now we're going to check out the circular saw. This exercise will familiarize you with using power saws to cut through locks to open doors and vents. Okay, pick up the circular saw from the ground. Good. Now use the saw to cut the lock on the vent ahead. You have to be careful, so aim for the indicated target. There we go, the vent is open. Nice. Once more, pick up the saw from the ground. It's one lock done. Now, walk over to the garage. Check out the ladder. This training exercise will familiarize you with using ladders. To use a ladder, you must first attach to it. What? Okay, now reconnect yourself to the ladder and climb back down to the ground. Good. Connect to the new ladder beside you. Now, climb up. Good. So you do have to make sure your your mouse or your controller is pointed where it needs to. We got another training session complete. What is next, guys? Fire propagation and growth speed. Here we go. With this training exercise, we'll familiarize you with how quickly fire can spread. Okay, stay where you are and just watch the fire spread. Notice how fast it jumps from object to object.
It is a little finicky. Closer to complete this one. Spray water by using the indicated button. Job done. There we go. Fire quench. All right. Once again, just watch the fire spread. Pal is the last thing that needs to go out. Can we do it? Yeah, there we go. That's another fire now, punch, guys. Grab a hose and try to put out both grease fires. Grease fires. This is a little different. Water doesn't help, does it? In fact, it makes it worse. Water and grease fires don't mix. To fight grease and chemical fires, you need to use a portable CO2 extinguisher. Grab an extinguisher and aim it at the base of both fires. Extinguisher side to side on the plane. Make sure you do that one. Good work. There you go, when guys. Out on calls, look for different types of flames so you can be ready for any grease or chemical fires you run into. This training system, in my opinion, is actually brilliant. Extinguishing fires. Here we go. This training exercise will familiarize you with how to effectively fight a fire using the hose aiming interface. All right, grab a fire hose and enter the door in front of you. Press that fire with the attack button. Look at the on-screen indicators in proximity to where the water hits the flame and learn how they can help you to assess the firefighting problem. Don't hesitate to change your position to get a better aim. This helps you quench the fire as quickly as possible. This uh, training system, in my opinion, is absolutely brilliant. Good. Fire's out. You may have noticed the sparks coming from the lamp on the table. These sparks can and will reignite the fires after you've put them out. This can create a dangerous situation of potential fire in the area you probably the safe. There it comes its electricity when you start the fire multiple times. The best way to deal with electrical fire is to cut the main power by finding and using the building's fuse box. So, instead of wasting water on an electrical fire, walk over to the fuse box on the so We gotta put out this fire again. Oh man. Should be quick and easy to put out okay, this time. Out. Now walk there into go, the guys. next Alright, since you already know how to deal with grease fire. Who left all these frying pans on and created all these grease fires, guys? Four of them. Four people are cooking in this kitchen. To help you put out fires as efficiently as possible. Okay, fire's out. 
Job done. There we go. Dealing with smoke. Here we go. This exercise will get you up to speed on smoke, how it affects your vision, and how to effectively clear it. Smoke is dangerous and can seriously harm you, which is why you'll always be equipped with an SCBA system to ensure you can breathe in any situation. When going into a smoke-filled area, be sure to use your helmet. Now. The best way to deal with smoke is to eliminate it. Venting a room allows the smoke to clear and makes it easier for you to see. All right, we got two windows open. Go ahead. Okay, you know the drill. Stay low and open all the windows to clear the smoke. Come on. Okay, you know the drill. Okay, we're going to take a different approach for this room. A smashed window is just as effective as an open window. If you need to vent smoke but run into a locked window, don't let that stop you. Grab a tool off the bench and smash both windows. Nice work. The smoke will clear out in no time. In this next phase, we'll take a slightly different approach. Looks like we're trying to Smoky vent from in inside. Too. Remember to stay crouched to improve your visibility as the smoke clears from the window you just smashed. Need a pry Open tool. the door and enter the next room. Okay, you know the drill. Stay low and open the window to... There we go. Training is complete. Recognizing backdrafts. Now we're going to learn about one of the most dangerous situations you'll ever encounter. A backdraft. Backdrafts often surprise even experienced firefighters. Backdrafts occur when the oxygen within a room has been used up, and then more oxygen is rapidly reintroduced into the area. This is caused by opening a door or window in an oxygen-depleted environment. When backdrafts occur, fire explodes out of the door or window and can become a fast-moving fireball, causing right. damage to anything in its path, and can even badly injure you. Okay, enough talk. Now we're going to show you a backdraft First, walk over to the window on the left and look into the room. You'll notice that the room is full of smoke, but there are no visible signs of flames. This indicates that the room is above its upper flammability limit. This means that the gas oh, the fire is coming through this. Wow. producing a flash fire. Just needs an ignition source. Oxygen. on the left. Notice that the door is different than other doors and has signs of a potential backdrop. In addition to the room being full of smoke with no visible flames, there's also smoke at the base of a door along with a pulsing sound. You hear it? It's a low thud. This sound seems like it's repeating because the room's trying to suck air into it. It needs oxygen to reignite the fires within. Okay, the door's unlocked. Open the door, but immediately back away from it to avoid the blast from the back. Okay, notice that the area opposite the door was caught in the fireball and is now on fire. Put out the flames in this room, then move through the door into the next room and extinguish the fires there. Put out the fires in this room, then go through the door and into the next room to extinguish the 
fires there. Good work. Now notice that the next block door has signs of a potential background. Do you see the smoke at the base? Do you hear the pulsing sound? Okay, the door's been unlocked. Like last time, open the door, but remember to immediately back away from it to avoid the background. This fire is intense. Establishing hoses, squad commands, using ladder trucks. That all looks good. I'm happy with what we've done so far, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Don't forget to drop a like and a subscribe. Yo, what is going on, guys? We're getting into firefighting simulator, the squad. Super excited for this. I've always been interested in this game since I first saw the trailer. We get to ride shotgun. I believe the yellow symbol is possibly a victim trap, but I'm not entirely sure, guys. We'll have to wait and find out. Again. We gotta try to break open this door. There we go. Hey, you walk. Hey, I think you have to carry me. <laughs> it broke my leg or something. Carry him out to the ammo. I fell and then I woke up on the floor. After that, there was smoke everywhere. All right, guys, here you go. You can take it away. Phew. All good? Thanks. We'll take it from here. You can get back to putting out fires. And Thanks for getting me out of here. The firefighters mentioned that something in the garage might have exploded and caused the building to ignite.
This is crazy, guys. I don't know if we're gonna get this fire put out or what. If you do pick up this game, I'm using a controller. I 10 out of 10 recommend using a controller. Seems like as soon as we get the fire pushed back a bit, it just picks up so fast. Garage fire is almost contained, guys. We got some backup here now. You see the water coming in up top as well. Almost fire free here in the garage now. Garage quench, deep breathing in five, four, three, two, one. That was a crazy first fire to go into. We found one victim, we were able to grab him out, and uh, we basically after that we just had to quench the fire in the garage. Alright, we completed the first mission, guys. Well, we're going to get into firefighting simulator the squad a little bit more thanks for stopping in guys make sure you like and subscribe so you can catch the next fire